Hello and welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic and I am hoping for a break from an hour long puzzle today but we'll see. Um, yeah, yesterday I spent an hour and more doing a Spartacus's amazing crop key X sums. Um, but if you like the hour long puzzles and you remember Simon's uh, solve of Fistimafel about four days ago, his Roman Whispers puzzle on Patreon of course we have um, a follow up to that, a free follow up to that based on, partly based on an email that Fistimafel sent Simon. So it is worth checking out if you watched the original puzzle and you wanted to see another another brilliant wrinkle in it that, that we hadn't noticed, or that Simon hadn't noticed. I'm sure I would have. Although actually, um, yeah, also on Patreon, there is my solve of Fistimafel's 6x6 and Simon's rather more expert solve of it. So maybe any claims I would make are bogus. Um, now, what else is on Patreon? Well, we've of course got the February monthly reward, quite approachable Sudoku Hunt. The uh, entries to that are in the high hundreds now. We're wondering, we're wondering if we're going to get to a thousand entries from different Patreons, which is fantastic. Thank you so much if you had a go at it. We, it's a bit of an eye opener, to be honest. I mean, it's really interesting how how popular that's been. So we are pleased by that. Um, and on the channel today, Simon does a crossword by Dave Gorman, the uh, British comedian who has become a crossword, a cryptic crossword compiler. So if you're interested in the cryptic crosswords, do have a look at that. If you are not, well, it is an introduction to a, a language that is worth speaking in my view, but I would say that. Now, what's going on in this puzzle? Well, this is from Joey Thamir. We featured, I think, his debut, I don't know, a month or two. A month ago, I'm going to say. It was a very rainbow-coloured puzzle, I believe. All sorts of... I had to delve into the palette and put a grey circle in for a, a ninth colour, as far as I remember. Anyway, no colours today, just circles and tight ropes connecting them. So I will read you the rules. Very interesting. Normal Sudoku rules apply. Nine pairs of poles are marked with circles on the grid. Both cells of a pair have the same height value fours there, for instance, and that value doesn't repeat along the line connecting them, so no fours on that line. Each pair has a unique height. Oh, I see, okay, so there are nine sets of poles, so where there's one in one of them, two in another, etc. Uh, E.g., the poles of value four are already given, therefore the line connecting the fours cannot contain a third four, that's what I've just highlighted, and no other circled cell can contain a four, so None of these can be fours. We're going to have one set of ones connected and one set of twos connected, etc. So do give it a try on the link under the grid. I, I'm told it's not as hard as yesterday's. That can always make an absolute fool of me, but we will see. Um, I'm going to start now. Let's get cracking. Well, we're given a couple of one-ended poles, so we can fill in one and six on the other ends of those. I think I might color those cells so that, uh, oh, they are colored behind the circle, so that I know which circles I've done, one, four, and six so far. Then what? Well, we've got a one there and a one there now, so we can place one, just do a bit of Sudoku. That's always a good tip in a Sudoku. Four can't be there, so it's in one of those cells. Ah, and then four is up here. And remember this rule that four can't be in another circle. So the four in column eight has to be here. Um, and then we're going to get a four in one of those two. Ah, and again, four can't be in that circle. Oh, well, it couldn't be anyway with that four there. Oh, this is a one four pair. Look at those positions of one and four. In fact, there is a one that can be just filled in. That is a hidden single in that box. And four goes there. Then one and four will form a pair down here as well. Now, what else can we do? Right, 2418 is blocking off a two by two section. So that six can't be there. Six must be in one of those two cells. Oh, and two, look, we can place two in box one and have been able to from the get go. Two can't be in those places, so two goes in there, two somewhere there. Now again one of these two by two patterns, so we look at eight, that can't be there, it must be in one of these cells. Um, not quite.
quite as helpful. Ah, look at nine though. That one four pair is going to come into its own because those two nines are ruling out all of those cells for nine. So we can put in a nine here and that fixes two. This is now a three or a five just by elimination of the other options. That's three, five or eight. I'm not going to pencil mark that. That's six. Oh, I've done that, haven't I? Ah, eight in this column. That is very straightforward. Didn't need to worry about that being an eight. This is now a five, seven, six, triple. Five, six, seven to give them their normal order. Um, and this is therefore a three, nine pair. So in the circle up here, it's either three or nine. Maybe I should think about the circles a bit. Because some of them, especially up here, and look, what this... There's a lot ruled out from this. It can't be one, two, four, six, eight, or nine. And at its other end, it can't be seven. So that's three or five, I reckon. This one, no, let's have a look at this one. This can't be four, one, eight, six. And at its other end, it can't be nine. No, I don't know. Maybe that's not the way to go. This one, I'll try one more. Nine, two, three, four, one, seven, and eight. Right, that is... Right, that's five or six. This is a good one to look at. Look, it sees two, eight in its column, nine, four, one, seven in its row, three in its box, and the other end of it sees a six in its column. So that is a five. Ah, and that fixes this three or five as a three, because they can't repeat. That fixes three or nine as a nine. Now we are flying in this puzzle. This one can't be a three or a five now. So it's two or seven. In fact, let's remember to color these three fives and nines and do a little inventory. We've done one, three, four, six, five, nine. So we've got two, seven, and eight to go. This one sees two and seven. So that's an eight. This one sees a seven. So that's a two. And the last pair of poles is a seven there. So that's really quite fun. That's quite straightforward. I might as well color these off just for completeness. That's all the poles done. Now we can place nine in box three and six and seven. Box three is finished. Six in this column is straightforward. There it is. And then we finish off five and three. This is a nine four pair. Dunzos. Three and five there. Two and nine go in column eight. This is definitely a more straightforward puzzle than the estate. Why have I written five, six? Oh, I didn't have that six at the time. Okay, that's fine. Five, seven, six. The five fixes three and five. These last three columns are completely finished. Two and four in the middle box. Five and nine there. Oh, wow. This is coming, coming, coming into land now, basically. A five, six pair left that I can't resolve in column six. That's a three. Five is there, so that's a five. This is a six, seven, eight, triple. Hmm, that I can't actually resolve, oddly. That one can't be eight, and that one can't be seven. I've forgotten to use the rule about how the same number can't repeat on the lines. Maybe it will matter somewhere. That's, though, a naked single six. So I get two and five in the row. Three, four, eight in the top row. That has to be three from the box. Eight and four go in. This has become a six since we got a five in its box. One and three. And I think we're just going to finish now. I really do. That one and four has been disambiguated. This is six or eight. No, it's not. There's a six there. So it's just eight, six, seven. And I mean, this hasn't been too hard at all. I hope you had a go at this one. It really is... It's an interesting rule set, but uh, there was a lot of given digits, to be honest, and, and that really did make it, I'd go genuinely approachable there, not just quite approachable. That is a genuinely approachable puzzle. Thank you, Joey. Um, I do hope everybody had a try at that. That was really interesting. Tightrope crossing. I have not seen one like that before, but I enjoyed it, and well... Okay, we're done, we're done in done in 10 or 15 minutes today. That's nice to see. So as always, thank you very much for watching the channel. We do appreciate it. Do subscribe or like the videos. Uh, that always helps us on YouTube if you can do that. 
Um, and the same with the Patreon videos, to be honest, uh, if you get the chance. But thank you, as always, for watching. Hope to see you again soon on the channel. And...